The first lady-elect has been teaching students for more than 40 years. When Joe Biden is sworn in as president in 37 days, she'll make history as the first first lady to continue working while her family lives in the White House. Jill Biden has two graduate degrees and a doctorate in education. That makes her professional name Dr. Jill Biden. A recent op-ed in the Wall Street Journal criticizing Dr. Biden for using the title doctor has a lot of women furious. The op-ed reads in part, Madam First Lady, Mrs. Biden, Jill, kiddo, any chance you might drop the doctor before your name? Dr. B Jill Biden sounds and feels fraudulent, not to say a touch comic. Wow, kiddo. That's what everybody, wa every grown woman wants to be called. A little fraudulent and not to mention comic. No surprise, but allies of Dr. Biden and people with common sense have come to her defense. Future second gentleman Doug Emhoff tweeting, quote, she earned her degrees through hard work and pure grit. And this story would never have been written about a man. Amen. Joining me now is Dr. Christina Greer, Associate Professor of Political Science at Fordham University. Okay, Christina, addressing the future first lady as kiddo, like, what is that? It seems like the author of this op-ed might as well have patted her on the top of the head. How do you hear that remark and read this op-ed? I mean, Zerlina, I have to be honest. When I first sort of saw the kerfuffle, I read the first paragraph and stopped reading because it was so misogynistic. No, I did. Yeah. The only reason why I read it was because I was coming on this show and I had to read the full thing, but there was no point in reading it. It was filled with such flimsy analysis by an insecure man who does not have the same degrees as Dr. Jill Biden. Keep in mind now, Michelle Obama was the most educated first lady in the history of our nation uh, with her double Ivy degrees. And now we have another first lady. You know, we, we skip over Melania, who lied about her credentials. Uh, and we now have another educated first lady who is going to be a role model on so many different levels. I mean, what she's going to be able to do to elevate and highlight community colleges and the importance of community colleges. Do you know how many Americans use community college uh, as a stepping stone to go to a four-year university? Or they stop at an associate's degree and go on to do great things. And that's not to say that college is for everyone, but that op-ed was so condescending and just, you know for a fact that it would never be written about a man. Uh, only a man would write that about a woman. I mean, all we can go down the list. And, you know, many people are calling for Dr. Biden to, it's to, you know, I, I subscribe to the, the notion of, you know, royalty doesn't beef in the streets. Um, I don't respond to crazy emails from my students. I ignore those because I just let them mm -hmm. sort of cool off and then they come to their senses. This is something that she doesn't need to respond to because it is so beneath her uh, by a man who clearly is very insecure about his own professional successes or lack thereof. Well, he's not the first lady of the United States, certainly not. Um, as a person with a professional title, I feel like you might run into this kind of thing every now and again. What do you do when people are like, oh, are you a real doctor? You're like, mm -hmm. I studied for six years and defended it. But I mean, what, what's your normal response? Yes. Are you, uh, So I, I would so, get defensive. <laughs> um, you know, I try and process because of course you get like, oh, you're too young. Okay. Uh, I, right before I came on the show, I was responding to a student who uh, called me Miss Greer. I get lots of emails addressed to my colleagues and myself. All of my colleagues, my male colleagues are doctor so-and-so and I am Miss Greer. Mm -hmm. So I nicely remind them that I am not only, there are two options, which they have, either doctor or professor Greer. Uh, Miss Greer is my mother and she is fabulous and lovely. But that is not who we're talking to. And I also uh, suggest they look at my, my signature line, which has all of my books mm -hmm. <laughs> and my podcast. And the fact that I'm the associate chair of the department. Uh, but it does happen quite a bit. Uh, there are lots of people who do not think that uh, professors should be uh, called doctors, even though we were the original uh, people who were called doctors. Uh, my sister is an MD, and we've joked about this in the past. You know, I actually don't use the, the uh, prefix doctor when I travel, uh, on airline travel, just because uh, usually if something goes down in the air, uh, they need someone like my sister who would be able to assist. So in that capacity, <laughs> right. I'm more than happy right. just to use Miss when I'm traveling. But uh, in a professional setting, I did earn this degree. Um, I did write a dissertation. Mm -hmm. I did turn it into a book. And 
what I think is really frustrating is that so many of my male colleagues are treated so differently uh, than myself and my other female colleagues. Still. I call it the presumption of competence. That's the thing we have to unpack and work on. Um, we, should, we should not do that just because somebody is a white man in a suit. We were talking about that um, with Ijeoma Oluo, uh, who just wrote the great book, Mediocre. Dr. Christina Greer, Dr. Christina Greer, thank you so much for being here, as always. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.